Chapter 38 With the Devotees in Calcutta March 11, 1885 On the morning of Wednesday, March 11, Sri Ramakrishna and some of his disciples visited Baluram Bose's house. Baluram was indeed blessed among the householder disciples of the Master. Sri Ramakrishna often described him as a rasaddar or supplier of stores, appointed by the Divine Mother to take care of his physical needs. Baluram's house in Calcutta had been sanctified many times by the Master's presence. There, he frequently lost himself in Samadhi, dancing, singing or talking about God. Those of the Master's disciples and devotees who could not go to Dokhineshwar visited him there and received his instruction. He often asked Balaram to invite young disciples such as Rakhal, Bhavanath and Narendra to his house, saying, These pure souls are the veritable manifestations of God. To feed them, is to feed God Himself. They are born with special divine attributes. By serving them, you will be serving God. And so it happened that whenever the Master was at Baluram's house, the devotees would gather there. It was the master's chief vineyard in Calcutta. It was here that the devotees came to know each other intimately. M taught in a school in the neighborhood. He often brought his young students to visit the master at Baluram's house. On this day, Having learnt of Sri Ramakrishna's arrival, M went there at noon during the recess hour of the school. He found the master resting in the drawing room after his midday meal. Several young boys were in the room. M prostrated himself before the master and sat by his side. Master, tenderly. How could you come now? Have you no schoolwork? M. I have come directly from school. Just now, I have no important work to do. A devotee. No, sir. He is playing truant today. All love. M said to himself, Alas, it is indeed as if some invisible power had drawn me here. The master, looking a little thoughtful, asked M to come nearer. He said, Please wring out my wet towel and put my coat in the sun. Then he continued, My legs and feet ache. Please rub them gently. M felt very happy to be given the privilege of rendering these services to the Master.
Sri Ramakrishna said to M, Can you tell me why I have been feeling like this the past few days? It is impossible for me to touch any metal. When I touched a metal cup, I felt as if I had been stung by a horned fish. There was an excruciating pain all over my arm. But I must use a brass water jar and so I tried to carry it after covering it with my towel. But the moment I touched the jar, I felt the same acute pain in my arm. It was an unbearable pain. At last, I prayed to the Divine Mother. O oh Mother, I shall never do it again. Please forgive me this time.